She has been called a pawn and a bargaining chip, even the face of the U.S.-China trade war, and the U.S. has accused her of fraud. But to the founder and CEO of Huawei, Meng Wanzhou is the daughter he praises for her year of suffering. As a father, I of course care about my children. However, the experience of hardship and suffering is good for Mun and her growth. Under the grand backdrop of the Sino-U.S. trade war, she is like a small ant being caught between the collision of two giant powers. On December 1, 2018, Meng, the CFO of Huawei, was arrested in Canada at the request of the U.S. She and the Chinese tech giant face a number of charges, including bank fraud, trade secrets theft, and sanctions violations. Meng and Huawei both deny the charges. She is fighting extradition. At Huawei headquarters in Shenzhen, I spoke with Meng's father about her life under house arrest, a life Meng spends in one of two homes she owns in Vancouver. Ren Zhengfei says she enjoys painting and studying. Meng's mother and husband routinely fly to Canada to care for her. When was the last time you spoke with Meng Wanzhou, your daughter? Perhaps three or four days ago. There was no routine. Oftentimes I'd send her some funny stories I found online, or I ring her up and ask her how she's doing. Have you become closer as father and daughter? Yes, indeed. In the past, Mun Wanzhou might not give me a single call in a whole year. She wouldn't ask how I was or even send me a text message. Of course, simply knowing that my child is out there working really hard already makes me happy. Now, our relationship has become much closer. Days after Meng's arrest in Vancouver, diplomatic relations between China and Canada soured. China detained two Canadian citizens, former Canadian diplomat Michael Kulvrig and businessman Michael Spavor. China has charged them with espionage and denies their arrests are related to Meng's case. There has been no response from Kulvrig or Spavor who, according to Canadian state media, have been denied access to lawyers and their family since their arrest. As a father, you've been able to speak with your daughter and in fact your relationship has gotten closer as you say, even though she's under house arrest. Do you think the fathers of Michael Spavor and Michael Kulverig, they deserve that as well? I don't have any information about these two people. I also don't have information about the law enforcement in this case. That's why I cannot give any comment on this issue. On January the 20th, Meng Wanzhou will be in court to fight her extradition to the U.S. on fraud charges. As for her future at Huawei, one thing is certain she won't get promoted. Hardships like this one will have a major impact on a person's grit and character. However, when she returns to Huawei, it doesn't mean that she will be given greater responsibilities. She is a financial officer. She can only handle financial matters. She won't be handling other aspects of the business. One year of detention may have made his daughter stronger, but not strong enough to one day take the reins from the father. Christy Lustout, CNN, Shenzhen.